Alright, what's good with you guys? Welcome back to another brand new episode of Tales of Mysterious Freak. So today, we're going to find our boy Lavi Set. Uh, that's far, we don't know nothing about this map, so... But you know, just, I'm just gonna go, you know, straight forward. This is probably gonna be my last video for the night. If I surprised didn't set it earlier, it's most likely gonna be my last video for the night. Cause I have to get up in the movie. Oh no, a dead end! And so the adventure came to a close in a most sudden and unsatisfying manner! Look, that wall is cracked. That means... So, I have nine. So, exorcists are actually the vessels for their Malachim. You can do that too, can't you, Mogulu? Of course! This fair maiden has won the Malachim's Choice Award, Most Desirable Vessel, three years running! Oh? Then you wouldn't mind replacing Eleanor as Lafayette's vessel, I hope. Thanks, but no thanks. I have my hands full dealing with Bienfu as it is. If I ate Bienfu, you'd have room. Still wouldn't work, kiddo. You saw it with your own eyes. Even if only for an instant, that kid actually held his own against the power of Enominat. Not even the resplendent Mogilu mm. can handle something of that power. Indeed. After everything we've seen, it's obvious there's more to Lafayette than meets the eye. Yeah, but that Eleanor woman was still able to become his vessel. That's because, unlike Miss Mogilu, Madam Eleanor actually tries! Anyway, we need to find Damn. her and beat her. <laughs> She'll just bring us more trouble the longer she's out there. Oh, we'll find her. No doubt about it. This looks like some kind of ruin. Where are we? Judging from the style of the walls and columns, I'd say this place is an ancient underground temple of Eumacia. Eumacia, the Empyrean of Earth. So it was by no coincidence that the Earth Pulse led us here. How did the temple builders know where to dig to connect to an Earth Pulse? Did they just get lucky? Just wham, there it is? An Earth Pulse doesn't work that way. It's a flow of natural force ordinary humans can't sense. Mm. But in those days, there were more humans capable of sensing that which others couldn't. It was people like that who guided the rest to build their temples closer to the Earth Pulses. Closer to their gods. Uh-huh. So, since Empyreans control the forces of nature, People viewed the Earth Pulses as embodiments of the gods themselves, is that it? Right. In the time when Empyrean worship was at its peak, temples like this were built all over. And I'm guessing they all looked pretty similar, so until we go outside, we're no closer to knowing where we are. That sums it up. Hmm. I wonder if they found any high-quality ore when they dug this hole. You know, for making swords. <sighs> I don't know why I bother explaining anything to you. You know, I'm starting to think you just enjoy it. <laughs> ah! You guys again? Well, look who set up shop here. You couldn't have shown up at a better time. We need more supplies. I'm happy to help you all, but this time, I really, really needs to charge a little extra. How much extra are we talking here? Ooh, you haven't heard the stories, little turtles. Word has it, 
There's a spooky monster that's been eating traveling merchants around these parts. <laughs> eating merchants? She takes the shape of a black hair. Oh my girl, god. And when she finds greedy merchants, she gobbles them up head first. Although, if the greedy merchant was a turtle's, I bet she'd start with the crunchy shell. Ah! I'm not greedy, I swear it. Look, I have special sales going on. Everything's marked down to normal prices. How generous of you. Magulu, give the nice turtles the smile he lives for. Always a pleasure. <laughs> Much obliged. <laughs> Take a look, see what's over here. Oh, that poor merchant, they always eat duck. That's why you made it. Nah. <laughs> so we thought we was going to be whooping some tail. Just to suffer. We had demon power and everything. He still beat us. I tell you, I just get lucky and just happen to find the right way. I just got lucky. I thought you'd be long gone. I apologize for disappearing on you. I was there, and then in the next moment, I was gone. And Luffy said? He's resting inside me. As far as I can tell, he seems healthy again. Your name's Eleanor, right? If I defeat you... You'll be his vessel and follow my orders until the day you die. I accept. But conversely, should you lose, I will take your life. Do you plan on fighting alone? I can handle myself. Oh, damn. Oh, shit. Is we really for the fight by ourselves? You're not using Lafisa to help you fight. Of course. This duel is me versus you. <laughs> I'd better not hear any excuses after your defeat then. Oh shit. Okay, I do. Perfect. I hear any excuses after your defeat, then. Control Oh, my God. 
Oh shit! There we go. Ooh. <laughs> We're done here. Never let your guard down, even when victorious. Why did you stop? I know you can't kill me as long as I'm his vessel. I'm just abiding by the same terms. Had you won, you'd have killed me. True, but a duel is a duel. So technically, she won. The Abbey shaped you well. However! <laughs> Once your sword is drawn, never waver. Control your feelings to control the tide of battle, right? Lord Artorius's teachings? What a failure I have been. I'll... I'll keep my word. I will follow your orders. To the day I die! Don't! My body... I can't move! <laughs> How? Since when can a Moloch overpower his own vessel? Luffy said, are you feeling better now? Y yeah. Looks like her body is reacting to the bond. Yeah, I know the drill. She'll get a high fever and stay zonked out for a bit. No biggie. Carrying her will slow us down. We can't afford that risk when we're venturing into parts unknown. Let's rest here until she's recovered then. I ain't big, cause who? She's one of us now, isn't she? As long as she's not a vessel. That's true. Hopefully, I remember. I'll look after Madame Eleanor. You know, I just remembered. After Miss Mogilu and I made our pact. She couldn't stop sneezing and sniffling for months. That happened right when spring was starting. Okay. Uh. A demon, a Moloch. A witch, and now an exorcist. We've turned into a real band of misfits. I didn't have yeah. any other choice. We're stuck with her. Yeah, I know. We can't afford to lose Lafayette. Now that we know the full extent of Inominat's strength, we need that boy more than ever. Do you think Inominat really is an Empyrean? You got me. But I do know this. Whatever he is, he's no ordinary Moloch. And the Abbey intends on using that power. To what end, I couldn't say. If we're going to win this, we need to uncover Inominat's true nature and the Abbey's secret goals. Indeed. At the very least, I think we can safely assume that Eifried's disappearance is part of their schemes. We might right. be able to extract some information out of that Eleanor woman as well. Agreed. But no torture. I'm not shattering our only vessel. Yeah, I get that. Given the pact they share, if Eleanor goes down, Lafayette becomes a demon, right? What? No one told me that! That's just how it is between Moloch and Vessel. I know she's a threat, but we need to keep her close for the time being. Well, we sure are in it deep now.
Man, Artorius and Nominat. Either one of them's a force to be reckoned with. Then why do you look so happy? Because I'm still alive. And if I'm alive, I can fight. You're certainly... optimistic. That's just the sort of demon I am. What about you, though? You gonna call that whole revenge thing off? If only. That's just the sort of demon I'm not. Then we need to find a way to beat them. You can mope after you're dead. We? You're still going to help? Yeah. After all, I wouldn't be here if Laffy said hadn't saved my life. That's true. Surely you know me by now. I might not look it, but duty and honor flow through my veins. Alright. So we had that duel. Oh, he's over here. Hey, don't overwork yourself. I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing? Isn't it obvious? I... I disobeyed you, Velvet. Don't sweat it. I'm still alive thanks to you. I just... <laughs> we are still alive thanks to die. him. We're all still That's alive. Why I, why I did that. To save you. <sighs> I'm sorry too. Acting the way I did. Treating you like an object. When I came with you, that was my own choice. You gave me the freedom to choose. And what would you choose now? We only have more troubles ahead. You're still going to fight, aren't you? Yeah, I can't stop now. Even so, I've made my choice. I'm coming with you. I see. Anyway, it's not like I have any idea where we are now. That's a good point. Aha! Uh -huh. But an object misused is one thing. A person misused is quite another. What's your point? What's your point, is what I want to know. Not only did you blow the whole revenge thing, you didn't even leave a scratch. Do you have any plan on where to go from here? I'll admit it. You know me not's power is far beyond what I could ever have imagined. Not mine. But Never I'll mind. never give up. No matter how many times I have to try, I'll devour them all. Bet you 100 gold you break first. Huh? You heard me. 100 gold says that you give up. I lost a bet with Rokuro when you had to go and survive. Cost me ten gold! I'm just looking to come out on top. Whatever, fine. Oh, then it looks like we have a bet. There might be some fun in me sticking around after all. <laughs> oh no, she finna lose her money. Not that I much care how it all turns out. I'm just looking to kill time. For what? You got your you got your hey, revenge. I've got something that might help with Enominot. Oh, is this that book you took from the villa? It is. Look closely at the crest on the cover. It's the same one from the temple. Does that book say anything about Enominot? Yes, but I can't read it. 
It's written in the ancient tongue. Oh, don't cry, baby boy. My friend Grimoire might be able to decipher that for you. Really? Well, maybe, maybe not. She'd have to take a look first. Well, where is she? Your friend, I mean. No idea. The last letter I got from her was sent from Salts down in South Gand. Not much to work with here. True, but I'll have fun watching you try. Oh, I'll find her. Don't you worry about that. That's the spirit. Don't give up just yet. Oh my god, I hate this chick. I hate this chick. Uh. <sighs> we'll rest inside these ruins. You're still weak. Uh, let's keep going. Man, we got slaughtered, basically. All the things. A damned demon watching over me. How could I have let this happen? I'm such a disgrace. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Even though that L in that fight, that was my mistake, but... To atone for this grave sin... This is all I can do. Forgive me, Lord Artorius. Artorius is a devil, man. Oh, oh my god, Artorius. Artorius is a devil. Forgive me, Lord Artorius. Artorius is the devil. Okay. Light. It's Melchior's communication art. I send Melchior to check out the Earth Pulse. And what a strange sight does he find. My lord, I have failed you. Lift your head, Eleanor. The Shepherd has a special mission for you. A special mission? You are to protect the Malak Lafiset and bring him to the Logris Abbey headquarters. This mission is highly classified, and not to be shared with even the Legates. <laughs> Protect the Malik and bring him to the capital, then? With the utmost secrecy, your becoming his vessel is in fact quite fortunate. Maybe so. But with me as his vessel, the Malik may interfere. This Malik may have his own will, but he can be manipulated. Do whatever it takes to get the job done, Eleanor. Damn. You act under my full authorization. Even were it to mean obeying the orders of a demon? But, my lord, what Moloch could possibly be that valuable? Are you saying you cannot? Shame is only a fleeting emotion. It is will and reason that ultimately prevail in the face of calamity. My lord, I live to serve the principles of your teachings. Oh my god. The Earth Pulse will soon close. From here on, you must use your own discretion to execute your mission. God, dog, oh girl. I mean, which one of us is the real devil here? Me? Baby girl right here? Or... I mean... 
or um and playing that music again you're up how are you feeling i'm fine listen don't try anything like that again pain is pain is scary right i'm all right no more running away i'm lafisa it's good to finally meet you properly eleanor y yeah likewise don't worry if you try running you won't get far once i've eaten your arms and legs i merely need you alive to act as his vessel nothing more that won't be necessary i swore an oath before our duel <laughs> an oath grants power in exchange for a certain constraint mine was if i lose i will obey my opponent once put in motion an oath cannot be broken by the one who swore it i will keep my promise to you because i must hmm an oath is it in that case, I have a question for you. What does the Abbey plan to do with the Nominat? To wipe out the demons, of course. We want to end the era of disaster <laughs> once and for all. And how exactly does the Abbey plan on wiping out the demons? Is the Nominat going oh to be the slaughtering them all? They... they never told me. And Nominat's ritual is kept confidential. Look at them! Look the at them! They All know! They know something! They look at the each other and then look at her like. By deciphering Lafisette's book, we'll have to track down Magui's friend, the one who can read the ancient tongue. If we go to East Sultan Southgand, we ought to find some clues to her whereabouts. But first, we have to figure out where we are now. We need to find a settler or a village, something. <laughs> I'm surprised us chuckleheads even know our own names. Even the greatest scholars don't know everything at first. You can't get answers without asking for them. He do look like <laughs> his enough. brother. Hard to argue she, with that. He, he, he do look like her brother. I've never seen a mullet quite like him. Eleanor, your job is going to be to protect Lafayette, even if it brings you into conflict with other exorcists. Because if you turn on me... I know. Like I said, I can't betray you. Listen, Muffy said. He hurt the whole. Any strange moves? We want you to stop her immediately, okay? I don't think Eleanor is such a bad person. Besides, she's oath bound to her promise. No, she not. She's lying, obviously. That's only something you do if your life depends on it. Yep, an oath is an art that takes complex rituals and lots of hard work and time. Hardly worth the trouble, to be honest. I told you already. She wants to take you away from us. Women are creatures of deceit, boy. Oh! <laughs> if you say so. What? She's right. Of course that goes doubly so for Velvet the Vengeful Villainess. Well, I won't deny it. Alright, um... So, yeah, so, uh... Hmm... What is it, Lafayette? I was told that women's looks can be deceiving, <laughs> but I'm not sure what I'm supposed to see. That's an age-old problem for men. <laughs> you with me, Eisen? Aye. Women are fickle creatures at yes, best. Yes, they are. <laughs> they lie as easily as they breathe, and men can never see through their deceptions. I totally feel you. <laughs> it sounds like you've both been through hard times. The wounds women leave on a man's heart take longer to heal than a cut delivered by a sword. Uh, it's that bad? Beware a maiden's tears, <laughs> boy, and guard yourself well. That's my advice to you. Beware tears and guard myself. Don't put any weird ideas into Lafayette's head, you two. They're just facts. If you fill his head with any more garbage, I'm eating both of you. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> the swordsman and the pirate having troubles with women? <laughs> well, women are nothing if not difficult. I have the deepest sympathy for you both. What do you think of the ladies' reactions? Well, Velvet won't eat either of you, and Mogilu didn't seem sympathetic at all. See? Appearances can be deceiving. And it seems you've absorbed the lesson well. <laughs> right. <laughs> I thought like that, though. <laughs> 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 yes, some women use their tears to manipulate others, but not oh all my, do, and oh I for one despise such duplicity. Oh my god. The women who did that to Aizen and Rokuro are just the extreme. Yeah, 
I can see how much you hate this honesty, Eleanor. Huh? Um, yeah, that's Oh my right. god. Be a good example for the boy, then. So he doesn't end up like Rokuro and me. <laughs> just that. Whether or not you ask it of me. Eleanor is a lot stronger <laughs> than she appears. Okay. Whew, that was that was a good chuckle. But anyway, we're gonna end the video here. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please drop a like, subscribe if you guys are new, comment down below. Let me know what you think of me. Uh this is my last video for tonight, so yeah, y'all be easy. Whew. Bye.